must come from the parking lot, huh? Good morning, good morning. Marmalade here. How's it going? Super stoked. Back on my PCT. As you can see by my hat. I told you guys in another video I'll wear my hat. My PCT hat. When I'm on the PCT. And I am on it. Excited, look what's behind me here. Amazing. It is uh, November 2nd, Saturday, 2019. I am with my meetup group, my PCT section hiking group for Southern California. All of us live in the San Diego area. Very lucky. Don't be jealous all you guys are up at back east or in other countries in the snow. Uh, hopefully we'll see some southbounders. We'll try to get a picture too if I find any. We're going northbound. We started at mile marker 77. So I'm a little out of breath because I'm going uphill. Scissors crossing mile 77, mile marker 77, and we're heading north. And it's going to be a nice trip, but not too hard. It's, today is 14 miles northbound to uh, mile marker 91.2, which is third gate water cache. And some amazing people keep that cache going all year round. So, uh, there are no, there's no water flowing right now, so I'm caring about three liters for 12, for 14 miles. Anyway, uh, we started about 9.20. We have a group of nine or 10. I'll try to show you most of them. And uh, we've already a bunch. We have, I think, eight males, one female, and a bunch of them I already know, I've known for years in this group. And it's so cool to be back with this group. So, Hammer, thanks for putting these on organizing them so that's the plan uh, this is day one or two tomorrow we'll get up early and uh, go 10 more miles to Barrow Springs where we uh, stage some cars this morning um, weather this is why the south boundaries come through now it's uh, gonna be a high of about 70 it's getting colder in the desert now it's gonna be a low of 39 or 40 but uh, Beautiful, we have a little bit of cloud cover. It's supposed to be no chance of rain, so that's good. But man, perfect weather. So glad my ankle's healed and I'm able to hike on it now. And uh, just kind of slowly planning to finish my through hike next year. So that's about it. Uh, see you down the trail.
Mr. Gittin's Wi-Fi for us. Yeah, baby. We made it. And this is actually the, let me show the three. Third gate water cache is coming up, but this is the third gate right here. That's the name. You fired up, Angela? She's doing awesome. All right, so we're gonna, we're at the camp area. We're gonna set up and go down and get some water. Yeah. We made the camp. There's Angela's tent. Moses' tent over there. The problem here is lots of spots, but not many are level. So we're trying to have a hard time trying to find the spots. That's Brian's. I don't know if you can see over here, down here. There's another one there. That's Paul's. And then there's gonna be another one just right of him, kind of like right here. But uh, I'm gonna go. I'm trying to, I'm thinking about buying a duplex, so I'm trying out uh, hammers and I'm gonna go right here. Okay, so that's where we're gonna go tomorrow, 10 more miles uh, uh, to Barrel Springs in the morning. Uh, there's a registry right here. Signs for H2O, and this is an iconic H2O sign. It's about a third of a mile. Pretty Okay, so I've gone the third mile down here. I've been here a lot of times and I'm impressed how much water's here right now. Uh, there are southbounders coming down and this is a key spot for them to survive. You can see right there, it's Kirkland water, gallon jugs. And uh, carry all your trash out. So this is where other weasels go, so. So, yeah, so it looks like there has one huge pallet here, one back there, and then one and a half there. So literally three and a half, almost four total if you put them all together. Uh, northbound, there's that pallet full and maybe another half of one. So yeah, I mean, look at this. Somebody does this out of their own, uh, their own money. Pretty amazing. She was in a lot of she was in a lot of rain, and I asked her how the how it held up. And she Strong man and hammer are gonna be over there, and they're gonna cowboy camp. Hammer's first time. Uh, I'm not sure who's setting up over there, but the rest of our gang's here. We're lounging. We got a couple hours to uh, get started. It's gonna get cold tonight, close to 39, 40 degrees. Moses is over here. Sweet Nemo tent. Frank way over there, and uh, we're gonna have some dinner. What's cool is it's uh, daylight savings tomorrow, so uh, we get an extra hour of sleep. Frank has a chair. Good morning, good morning. Marmalade here again. What a marvelous morning. It is uh, November 3rd, Sunday, 2019. Been on trail for a while. Uh, we got lucky. We, uh, as a group, there's nine of us, uh, decided to try to leave between six and seven a.m. Uh, we have 10 miles to go, uh, but we got the time change, so we got an extra hour of sleep, so it's really, the sun and the warmth and everything was between seven and eight. So uh, a lot of people got up early. Some of the slow hawkers got up early and left. Uh, so I took my time. I mean, I left at 6.35, 6.40, somewhere in there. It is uh, 9.07 right now. So 
been going for a while. Uh, the first three miles are not steep, steep, but medium steep uphill. And so I didn't want to film doing that. It's just too out of breath, but I'll show you where I am in amazing, this amazing view in a minute. So yeah, the plan is very simple. We did 14 yesterday. We're going northbound on the PCT. We're going from mile marker 92, uh, the third gate water cache, about 10 miles to Barrel Springs where we staged cars, where we met yesterday and staged some cars. And then we drove, the rest of us drove down to the start, down to Scissors Crossing. And that's the plan. Super, it's actually a really warm day. It's probably gonna, it's not super hot yet, but I bet you it's already 70 and it's nine o'clock. But it's gonna probably get closer to 80. Oh, you can see the behind me, the views. Those mountains always remind me almost like a Hawaii, don't you think? Kauai or Hawaii. But yeah, I'm going along a ridge. What's great about this hike, uh, this stretch, is we have about four and a half, five miles up, and I'm almost done with that. I probably have a mile or less, and then it's four and a half, five down all the way to the car. So I said this on my through hike, and, and since I'm getting better at uphills, but I love to do some of the tougher uphill early because I'm fresher, and then cruise later on. It's harder to do a big climb at the end of the day. So, but today's only ten miles, so. That's about it. Anyway, uh, I'm one of the people in the back because uh, I left latest. Like, there's one person behind me that I'm slowly catching up. Uh, so that's about it. And we'll see you down the trail. It's gonna be a great day. So I'm about a mile and a half from uh, Barrel Springs and being done. So just before the 100 mile marker, I wanted to show you guys that do section hiking and uh, through hiking. As you're going down, I'll try to uh, use my finger to po point at this. Barrel Springs is kind of down, which you find my finger right here, in those dark green trees here. And uh, right there you have about mile 101. And you're gonna go towards that tan grass out there. And essentially, Gonna go this way and then across and across and out here it's hard i can see with my eye but on the camera i can't see it uh, eagle rock is five and a half of the eight and a half miles to uh, Warner springs and then just past all that tan to where this green i can see it but you can't uh, let me zoom in is Warner springs so what's nice is it's a little bit up and down but mostly flat out there and it's beautiful in the spring it's very green looks like uh reminds me of out west it's like uh there's cows out there it looks like a farm and um like old western ranches out there there aren't ranches but the land looks like it but anyway that's what you'll be uh, heading to and then when you get to that far side where the tan uh, turns green uh, warren springs is over there yeah baby i did a hundred miles Okay, 
Made it to Barrel Springs. I love this little medallion here, right in there. Yeah. Old well, school. Hey, when you come in here, normally in spring is very green and lush here. Uh, lots of camping spots. So, uh, whether you're going north or south, this is it. Tons of spots. We've had fires. You see, there's a big fire there. I'm not sure if you're supposed to, but oh, the water is flowing. This is Barrel Springs. I heard it was dry, but it's not. But yeah, it comes from up there somewhere. Yeah. Now the hummingbirds and the bees are drinking. It goes into these and then here and then in the spring, it's really flowing pretty good. But yeah, that's it. That's uh, Barrel Spring. Bunch of campgrounds here, you can see. Really good spots. A lot of big old oak trees here. It's a lot of shade. And uh, over to the parking lot, see where the gang is. Uh, we made this to the parking lot and you will normally go right across there. Continue on eight and a half miles to Warren Springs. Hey guys, Marmalade here. I thought I'd just check in with you real quick to do a little closing video. Uh, it was a really good, successful trip. Uh, I've been dealing with some physical health issues, so I wasn't sure if I was gonna go or if I'd be strong enough to go. And I went and, you know, I suffered a little bit, but uh, I did all right and I made it. So, and I didn't go that slow, so that was great. And I got to hang out with a lot of my uh, co-hiking friends and it went really well. It was a weird morning because we decided last night that we'd leave between six and seven, as I said earlier. Uh, we gained an hour, so the weather warmth-wise was really between 7 and 8. And uh, so I heard people rustling around, and, and just like on trail, I'm a slow get it, get her upper and goer. So I wanted to leave by 6.30, so I woke up at 5 and and kind of stretched and stuff, and then ate some breakfast, and I was going to make coffee, but uh, like I said, I got up at 5, but by like 6 o'clock, people were leaving. And so it was kind of weird. We were a group, and typically when you're hiking, as you know, people spread out on trail because... They're, they hike at different paces, but people literally, even though we were a group of nine people, they all left at different times. So it was kind of weird. I mostly hiked by myself. If you saw that, I hiked with uh, Paul um, early on that's uh, in my video, and he's going to actually through hike uh, next year. So good luck, Paul. Uh, really great meeting him, and uh, I think he's going to do really well. <clears throat> and so, and then I saw Hammer a little bit later uh, taking a break, or I wouldn't have caught up to him. So. It was just a weird day. I got to the parking lot. Most of the people were gone already. So uh, normally that's not how we do it as a group, but that's how it was this time. But uh, overall, it was successful, and I wanted to test myself out, see how I was doing, how I, was, I felt, and I did great. So anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I really enjoyed meeting some of you guys that I hiked with. So a lot of new people this time, and some of the old, and had a blast. And until next time, see you down the trail.